Sorry, first thing that comes to mind when I say Michael Jackson? Um, um, Moon Walker. First thing that comes to mind when I say Tony Braxton? Um, love me some him. <laughs> Justin Bieber. Where are you now? <laughs> Favorite old school jam? Um, living for the love of you, Isley Brothers. Favorite R and B performance? R and B performer or performance? Performance. Um, I honestly will have to say my favorite R and B performance. Right now, I have to say it's Beyonce. I probably have to say it's, it's a Beyonce show. Okay, yeah. 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 Uh, the last concert she did on the run too, on the run with her husband. That was a great concert. Okay. Okay. So as so as a producer, as a creator, during the shutdown, what have you discovered new about yourself? Um, during this pandemic, um, I discovered that I do know how to cook a little bit. You do what? I can cook a little bit. What can you cook? Like I got like uh, like vegetarian stuff, like Impossible Burgers, Beyond Burgers, uh, all the, all the vegetarian. I can barbecue. I learned how to barbecue. So throughout it all, I learned how to barbecue. Okay. I learned um, what really matters and that all the material things that we're programmed to to be attracted to don't matter at the end of the day. And um, just made you realize, um, um, made me realize what, what what my priorities were, and that's family and being healthy. And um, being able to be there for you know for your loved ones. So during during the shutdown, there's a lot of people that got depressed. There's a lot of suicide. What um what do you do when you're not feeling powerful or confident? Um, honestly, I I really just I try to just be grateful. I try to use gratitude. I try to you know look at my surroundings and just be like get step outside of my 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 pain and my my worries and just be gracious. And, and um, just be, you know, really, I'm, I'm just be have to be full of gratitude in order to appreciate life, no matter what you're going through, because somebody else always going through something worse than you are. So th I think gratitude for me was mo really important and um, ma being gracious, man, appreciative of what I have, you know, what we have. How important is inclusivity in the entertainment industry important for you? Um, Especially what's going on this last year. Um, the, the inclusivity to my, everybody, people working with each other. Um, I think it's really important uh, for collaborations. I think it's important to push music forward. And when people come together, I feel like, you know, two brains together are always more powerful than one mind. So I feel like the unity and coming together always is going to be stronger. You know, when companies merge, you know, you look at AT&T and Singular, you know, Nextel and Sprint, they become bigger companies immediately when they come together and they reach more people. So... It's real important, like, you know, inclusive, it, like people collaborating is just really important. Um, and and you see that more than ever just because we, we we weren't able to come together. So now you see like, yo, let's take advantage of this and really be more collaborative because you never know when we might not, you know, it might you might get hit with another pandemic and be locked in. So, OK, I have you. So dream collab. Um, my dream collab. Dream. Um. Wow, I don't even really have a dream collab. I'm You've so done it all, but um, me, me, what's, and what's the next? me and Celine Dion. Me and Celine Dion. I, oh, I want to work with Celine Dion. That would be yeah. Okay. Yep. Right. And how can we find you on social media? Um, you can find me at Pooh Bear P O O B E A R on all the all social medias. Yeah. Yes. Happy birthday. Oh, happy birthday. Thank you so much. Yes. Real quick.